Hey guys, it's me. I'm going to call this story time. Um, I'm feeling a little emotional right now <laughs> because I legit just resigned from my job I've been at for almost three years. Um, I was working at a security company and the site I was at was a world headquarters, but I got removed from the site two weeks ago. So I'm just like, I can't sit around and just wait for them to call me and replace me at the site. I mean, I've been out of work for two weeks now. I have a car now. I want to get back into school for video game design. And all the classes that I have to take for game design was at like 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And I was working 7 3 or 8 4 or whatever. So I got a job that is second shift. And that's perfect for me because it's like 4 to 12, 3 to 11, stuff like that. And then in the morning I can go to school and pursue my career in video game design. And um, hopefully work for like EA Games or Massive or Ubisoft or the one that makes Call of Duty. I can't pronounce the name, but it starts with a T. You know, something good. So, anyway. Um, I was at, I've been with the security company for three years almost. And I was at the site for two years, two and a half years. So, um, been, so if you, if you are a contracted security worker, you know like what a client is you know what the client is some of you also that don't scare the client but pretty much the client said that he didn't want me there anymore almost three years i've been there and he said i wasn't a good fit i don't belong there i wasn't a good fit if i wasn't a good fit then why did i last for two and a half almost three years everybody loved me people were like upset when they found that i was gone like what the heck i knew everything and everyone but it just doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't add up because I think they were going to freaking get rid of me from get. I'm not going to name the name of the company because they probably creeping on my stuff. But let's be real. Either they were homophobic or something. Because how are you just going to up and say that I'm not a good fit for a job that I've been at for two and a half years. Way before you even became our freaking client. So, so, so this client was bringing up stuff that happened. A year ago. A year ago. Why are you bringing shit up that happened a freaking year ago, bro? This little incident that happened when I told somebody something that that, that, that girl doesn't even work there. That girl has not worked there in two years. Almost. She got fired instantly. Like, as soon as they said, we're not gonna, this is your last day at so-and-so, that day that I told that, like, this girl that I dealt with my friend, I told her that someone got fired, right? So I'm like, yo, so-and-so got fired, she started freaking out, and then she, she messaged me and said, why are you talking crap about me? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not saying anything about you. She's like, yeah, you are, people are saying that you are saying all types of shit about me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to HR, and we're gonna let HR handle this, because I didn't say shit about you. I've already been in a bunch of crap already, so you're coming at me, saying that I'm saying shit about you, and you won't even tell me what you said. She's like, oh, well, I don't want to talk about it, and my boss told me to talk about it. Your boss told me that told you like not to talk about it. Then why the hell would you bring it up in the first place? If your boss told you not to talk about it, why the hell would you bring it up to me? So you know what I did? I said, you know what? F this. This is bullshit. I haven't said shit about you. I haven't said shit anything. Nothing. Nothing. So she freaked out when I said I was going to go to HR. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to HR and let HR freaking handle this bullshit. Because this is freaking bullshit. Because you're telling me all this shit that people are coming up to you saying that I'm talking shit. And yo, you won't even tell me what the hell I said. Are you fucking... Sorry, are you freaking kidding me? So, she got all freaked out, right? She got all freaked out and then... Um, she, she, I thought she was my friend and she decided to tell my boss and then her boss that I told her that somebody got fired. I guess that was a breach in security. So that accident happened a year or so ago. So... She was freaking out, so then I got called into the freaking office with the client and my fucking supervisor. And it's like, so blah, 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 and now she's making it seem like you're harassing her. Bro, we messed around. We messed around. Bro, she's, we, we messed around. And now she's saying I'm harassing her? How would I tell how she's taking naked pictures in the freaking bathroom of a goddamn world headquarters? How would I tell that she's smoking in the bathroom? Seriously? How about she's sexting in a bathroom while on work hours? But I didn't tell them that. But she tried to get me in trouble. She really did. But I'm just like, I'm harassing her, but we, 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 we messed around. Like, legit. She played me. That's how you know you can't trust many people. 
and as soon as they let me go, I was suspended for a week. I came back, and then I heard that she was all happy. Like, yeah, I got her fired. Blah 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 blah. No bitch. I got called back on Monday. Now, this is before we had the client that we had now. We had somebody, another client, like a big, big client, a CEO, executive, all that. And they called, they're like, what happened to Officer so-and-so? I'm not going to tell you my last name. You don't need to know my name. What happened to Officer Thomas? Whatever. That's my last name. We let her go because she told, let's call her Jane, that we called the other one Veronica got fired. So, the big bosses were like, what? You let Officer Thomas go for some petty shit like that? Are you kidding me? Never call off. Never late. None of that shit. But you let her go over some petty shit. They said it was a breach of security and my boss was like, I'm living. I'm just so angry. Boy, if you don't shut your gay ass up, bruh. I'm living right now and I just can't believe it, bruh. Stop lying. Stop being so dramatic over nothing. Pixel did? <laughs> like... Yeah, I said pencil dick, because I used to tell him that all the time. Pencil dick. <laughs> anyway. So, he's like, Thomas, this is your last day at this place. What happened? You guys were homies. You guys were homies. I'm like, I started crying. I was like, whatever. So I said, well, I might as well go now, because he told me it was my last day before my shift was on. I might as well go now. Now, I'm crying. I'm like, upset. I'm pissed off. I'm just like, whatever. So then I'm just... All the way home, I'm bawling. Like, I am bawling. Like, it looked like it was raining. Oh, I was crying so bad. So then, I get a call. 3.15, 3.20. Thomas, um, we're gonna put your removal on hold. I'm like, what does that mean? That means that we're gonna put your removal on hold. Okay. And so I'll call you back. Okay. So he calls me back. Thomas, we're just gonna suspend you for four days. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. I'm like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So apparently, everybody, all the executives and the big bosses and all that had my back. They're like, why would you let her go for something so stupid? That's dumb. That's petty. She's been here so long, didn't call off, was never late. So I got suspended and I came back. So the point of the story is the client put that up that happened a year to two years ago. He wasn't even our client. Like, technically, I've been there longer than him. I'm sorry, but in his old bald cone hair looking butt. Um, I'm sorry, but does that look like a penis? That is so weird. Huh. Anyway, he's like, I'm sorry, but we don't want Thomas here anymore. She's not a good fit. So Friday, two Fridays ago, two weeks ago. Um, I'm chilling. Works off thought everything was fine. Three three o'clock comes I'm out. Have a good weekend. 445, I get a call from the main office. Hey Thomas, it's so and so. And I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, what's up? And he's like, um, instead of going to so and so Monday morning, you're gonna come to the main office. Why? Did I do something wrong? Well, I mean, you just find out and come to the main office and so and so will, will talk to you. And I'm like, I need to know what's going on. Why? What, what did I do? Is it bad? He's like, I wouldn't say it was bad, but just don't go. You're not at so and so anymore. And I'm like, alright. I go to the main office. Now get, this is 30 minutes away from where I live. So I get up at 8 o'clock in the morning because the receptionist or whatever the heck he is told me don't go to where I was for three freaking years before the client said he didn't want me anymore because he's a homophobic. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing because he's probably going to be watching this, but I'm going to tell you right now. They said come to the main office. I've been there three almost three years. I've never called off. I was never freaking late. I knew everything. Everybody loved me. That's why people were pissed off when they said I'm not there anymore. People were calling me. I'm like, how the heck did you even get my number? Like, all these random people were calling me saying, like, what happened? Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, go back to that. I got AD, so I switched around or whatever. So, like, I go into the office. I'm like, I'm going to bring my note because I got documentation of all this crap that my boss did and blah, blah, blah. So, I guess I got drunk and said I was going to sue. My like operations manager <laughs> don't remember that at all. But he's like, I'm like, how are you? He's like, um, I'm not too bad now that you're gonna sue me. And I was like, oof, my bad. I was, I wasn't, you know. So he goes, okay, this is what happened. The client doesn't want you there anymore. He wants you removed from the site, and he doesn't think you're a good fit. What? 
Yo, the clan said he doesn't want you anymore because the incident that happened in October. More than two years. When somebody came to me and told me and started threatening me that they were going to beat up their boss and do all this crap to their boss if she got fired. And I waited a day to tell him. They said I should have told him that same day because the manager, her boss, her boss, fired her that day. That day. And I waited to the next day. But but that's what they said. Um, the incident in October, they said you should have told them right away. And now so and so is all paranoid and, and blah blah bullshit, 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 bullshit. That's all it was. Hmm. I wonder if color has a piece to do with it. Hmm. Hmm. He's like a you know what? So anyway, they said that that I should have let them know that same day. I thought I was in the right. Letting them know the next day. I was I wasn't I was I, I didn't know what to do. I was fiberglassed it. Fiberglass whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Like I was in shock. I was like, I don't I don't know. Cause she was saying all types of stuff for a while. So yeah. That happened. And he's like, I don't know, we there's nothing we can do. We've tried everything we can, and he just said that there's that incident and there's some other thing in the confidentiality. When I told that girl that somebody got fired, he wasn't even our client when I told him that. Like, legit, bro. I've been here longer than you. Like, who are you? You're not my boss, but apparently he is. Because what he says goes. So, they removed me. But the fact that you didn't have the boss to tell me... You had to wait till I got home. I spent sixty fucking dollars, excuse my language, on goddamn sixty dollars on the game because I thought I would have a job. I have a car now. I spent sixty dollars on that game plus tax. It's two fourteen. And they call me after I buy, after I get home, so they're really excited, like, oh my god, I can't wait to play. Thomas, um, instead of going to a pop, ooh, I'm not gonna say the name. Tell Miss on instead of going to so and so, you're gonna come to the office. And I've been out of a job for two weeks until recently. So the whole point of the story is the reason why I'm feeling bittersweet is because I called them and I'm like, I got a better job offer, and I'm going to resign, and I will return your uniforms on Monday morning. But if it wasn't for him, the client, I would still be there. He's petty, like. I, I don't like him. I do not like him. I do not trust him. I never did. He's sneaky. And I think that was just an excuse. He's probably freaking homophobic. Are you homophobic, bro? Because you probably are. Like, that doesn't make sense. I've been here three years. I'm not a good fit. Three years, I'm, I'm not a good fit. But there's not one person in that place that hated me or disliked me. As soon as they found out I wasn't there, I got thousands of phone calls because that building has at least... That whole company had at least 8,000 plus people because it's the world headquarters. I've seen people all over the world, but it was only 925. 925 isn't crap anyway. You can't live off that when you're 32 and you got a car note and you want to get back to school and you got a phone bill and you got a video game addiction and you, you always go for video game design and you live with your parents who are older so you want to try and take care of them. 925 isn't going to anyway, but I'm just irritated at the fact that I would have still been there if it wasn't for his stupid ass. Legit. Before we had another client that was so much better. I'm not gonna say his name. I call him Double. And he loved me. He said, like, I love seeing you. Everyone said, I love seeing you smile in the morning. When I told them I was no longer there, I need to see you. Like, people called me. How did you get my number, bro? T, what happened? How did you get my number? Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I was popular at that place. Like, and, and, and I think that was it. They were jealous of me. They were jealous of the recognition, the recognition I got. I always got gifts on Christmas. I always got. They always said, hey, we're having a potluck tea, come on up and get you a plate, all that. People liked me, they paid attention to me, they invited me places. I think that was the fact that they were jealous because I was liked more than anybody. There was people that didn't even talk to my boss, but talked to me all the time. And then, my boss was definitely jealous of my girlfriend. I'm like, legit, he was jealous of me and my girlfriend, no doubt. Then, me and my boss used to be cool, and he started making inappropriate, freaking sexual harassment comments and just comments that made me feel uncomfortable, so I talk, stopped talking to him. He was mad because I stopped talking to him. That's it. Oh, you're on your phone. We don't want you anymore. Bro, how do you know it was an emergency? How do you know somebody would freaking die in my family? You idiots. I just don't understand, like, what the big deal about being on your cell phone is. Like, what is the big deal between after lunch 
and two o'clock, there was nobody. Nobody comes in. They all come in in the morning. In the morning, I was in a freaking basement. But y'all tripping over my damn cell phone? Bring shit up that happened two freaking years ago, bro? Get the freak out of here with that bull crap. But you know what? It's for the better because security is for retired people or people that are out of high school or freaking losers. No offense to anybody, but I'm just saying. I'm 32. I have a degree in criminal justice and I'm working at freaking 925 an hour. Psh, boy, bye. Girl, bye. AIT by just saying, but it's still, it, it's still, I, I need to minimize this because it still gets me so mad the fact that somebody despised me so much and was threatened. That's all they got that you were threatened by me so much. You guys despised me, I intimidated you guys because I was friendly and everybody liked me. It's a world headquarters, I've seen, I would see thousands of people a day. And everyone would be glad to see me. And the fact that I got all these phone calls and text messages after I got let go two Fridays ago. Psh, jealous much? Hey, is gonna hey, 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 hey. But you know what I say? I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. And hate is gonna hey, 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 hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you, you bald headed? Oof. Oof. I hope I'm. Oh, I'm not gonna that. That is my story time with you. And this is bull crap, if you ask me. I don't think I'm gonna watch this whole 20 minute video, but that's my story time with you. And that's why I'm bittersweet. Because I called them. They were gonna replace me somewhere else, but I, I can't wait. Freaking mom. I got a car now, like I said. So that's the story time with you. But it's just, it just still gets me because even though I was getting paid shit, I love the people at that place. Everyone loved me. Like, I would get so, oh my god, every time someone would give me some food or anything, my boss would be like, Ugh. but they, 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 they said that they were trying to get me on my phone. <laughs> that was my dramatic phone job. Like, but you're on your phone all the time, right? So, I'm a lesbian, and they, they were homophobic, I guarantee. They are homophobic as hell. And they didn't like the fact that I was gay as hell, and I was out as hell, because it doesn't matter, I don't have to hide my sexuality, the EEOC, and all that, like, that's what it was. That's the real reason why I got let go from that site, because I was gay. Let it be real. Because me being on my phone doesn't make sense. Me not telling them the same day doesn't make sense. Y'all are homophobic. My boss and the client, and y'all know y'all are. Y'all were jealous because I was getting all the ladies. <laughs> and y'all ain't get shit. Y'all go home. And play with yourselves. <laughs> Boy, am I. Anyway, I hope I see one of your wives because it's over. <laughs> it is over. Anyway, that's it. That is story time with me. I'm going to go play Call, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 again. And if you ask me this long, thank you. <laughs> y'all want to check out my, my, my y'all want to check out my outfit though? Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let. Let's turn this light on. Check out my freaking outfit. Yo, yo, I got the ooh, 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 bitch yeah. anyway thank you and i am out in three